Hi, it's Serby, and I am back to talk about the third thing on our Trade, Grow, Live uh, series of 10. We're going to talk about practice. So we touched on that a little bit. Um, I know I'm not supposed to touch my face. So there is no better time to learn a skill that will you can fall back on no matter what happens in your life, when you retire or when you get laid off or when you just have time or want some extra, you know, a side hustle. There's no better time to learn to trade than there is right now. A lot of people have a lot of time. And I always think if I'm learning something, my time is not going to waste and um, keeps me busy keeps me busy. I, I have a lot of things going anyway, but it does. It keeps me busy. So we're going to talk about practicing today. Um, we talked on that a little bit. When you first start to trade, you're going to need to practice. You need to get a demo account and you need to just continually practice until you're winning 70 to 80 percent of your trades. Seriously. You might think you're doing really good. Um, and when you go to real money, let me tell you, it's a mind well, I was going to say something, but I'll, I'll say it nicer. Um, it will screw with your mind. It will screw with your mind. Even though if you've been trading on a demo and you've been using basically the same amount of money um, in your demo account, in your, your, your play money, your monopoly money, as you are in your live account, it will still mess with your mind. I can remember when I started trading with live money, I was like, oh my God, it's real money. I, I did, I just lost that. And so it, it messes with you. Trading, and I've heard this several times from several different people um, on a lot of the educational stuff that I have gotten on, that trading is 80% mindset. Now think about that for just a little bit. 80% mindset. So you can practice on trading view. We use TradingView to set up a lot of our trades and it's a great platform. And there is paper trading on TradingView. You can set up a paper trading account. Any broker, find, you know, and this is how I found my broker, whatever broker that I wanted to go with. I paper traded on maybe, or demo traded, it's called demo trading um, on some of them. I demo traded on maybe five or six different brokers before I found one that suited me that had the tools and, and things that I wanted to use. So I'm not allowed to recommend a broker and I wouldn't do it anyway because it's a personal choice. And I think you just need to go through and try different brokers. Um, I really like the one that I'm with now. I like the, the how streamlined it is, but um, I traded with a different broker for about a couple of months and um, I wouldn't have known that I liked this one if I didn't open a demo account. So I have several demo accounts with several different brokers and I, I use them um, when I'm testing things. I use them when my mind gets a little out of whack. If, um, if I find myself not focused and my mindset isn't right and I lose a trade or two, in a row, then I will start using the demo account and I'll trade until I get my mindset back under control. And that's what the practice is all about. You practice until you're confident, okay? So you can use, like I said, there's, um, and, and you can use an MT4, um, MetaTrader 4 or MetaTrader 5 broker uh, trading platform, or you can use TradingView. There's a lot of different ways to do it. So just get out there, open a demo account and, and you know, go for it. You just got to open it and start trading. You're not going to learn Forex until you start trading because nothing can prepare you for winning and nothing can prepare you for losing a trade. Okay. So get out there and get a demo account. So habits, we're going to talk about habits again. I know I'm preaching on this, but cultivating good habits and how you set your trade up, making sure that you're doing all the steps you need to. You're checking the news. You're making sure that there's going to be no news event that might, might affect your trade one way or the other. Now, that doesn't mean that, that a president of some country doesn't get 
decide to do an extemporaneous speech or doesn't say something to some news person somewhere that's not going to affect markets because it does things like that affect markets what it does mean though is that if you're watching for big news events and red flag news you're going to see what's going on so um anyway look at the news there's a couple of different platforms i was going to pull them up here and see um you can get it on my fx book and forex factory that's one that that i like to look at a lot and I'm just gonna pull that up. I'm gonna share my screen and pull that up right now. Okay. All right. So this is Forex Factory and you can go down through here. This was for, I have to put on my glasses cause I can't see. Um, this is for Monday the 6th. We're in, and you can see there was red flag news on the Canadian. There was red flag news on the US dollar this morning. Um, this evening, there's news on the Australian dollar. And so when there's red flag news, that's a sign that you need to stay away from that news a little bit, from those pairs. So if there's, there's you know, or because drastic changes do happen in the markets when there's red flag news. Orange flag news isn't so bad, but red flag news there is. So when that's going on, you want to be sure that you're not in one of those pairs. So tonight, I'm going to watch the Australian dollar. <coughs> Excuse me. It's not COVID-19, guaranteed. Um, so tonight, when I'm trading, I would want to watch the, the Australian dollar, make sure that there's nothing going on. Um, with that before I make a trade. So I'll wait till that news gets over. So it's a habit. You wanna do it every day before you trade. You wanna know what time news is coming out. If there's any red flag news, what time that is and what pairs it is. I jot it down on a notebook. And then I know, you know, around whatever time it is, stay away from the Australian dollar. 7.30 this morning, I would have stayed away from the Canadian and the US dollar. Um, I have to look at my notes. So when you lose, no one likes to lose and you can't win all the time. I'm sorry. If you're going to trade, you're going to lose. And it doesn't mean it was a bad trade. It means you lost. Everybody loses. You take your lumps and you get on with it because if you dwell about a loss, you're not in the right mindset. And so you need to go back to practicing or you need to stay practicing because when you can lose a trade and you go, you know, well, that was a loss. Tomorrow's going to be a win. My next trade will be a win. I'm fine. Self-confidence is really, really important. Um, winning's not about strategies. It's not about being smarter than everybody else. Um, it's not about having more tools and more everything. It's about mindset. It's about feeling confident that you have done all that you can do to make sure that everything is lined up for a good trade. You have checked the news. You have done your risk management to make sure that you're not over leveraging. You're, you're not taking more than you can. You're staying under 3% and you're going. So I never risk more than 3%. I do a lot of trading at 2% or 1% lot size, okay? So check that out. And again, you can uh, FX, my FX book has a uh, calculator, a trading calculator in it. And um, go in there and take a look at that and put in your, your account size, and all your stuff and, and make sure that you're staying at less than 3% so that you have money to trade tomorrow if it loses. That's the deal. Okay. Forex trading is not fast. It's a slow, steady, 
steady progress. And that's what that compounding is all about. And we're going to get into that again later. I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a compounder. I, I truly believe in compounding. It is the more powerful thing. Albert Einstein said it was powerful. Um, great people that have a lot of money understand how powerful compounding is. So you need to really learn about compounding. And it's not how much you make every day, it's how powerful it is when you compound it with what you already have. So we're gonna really get into that. Um, so what separates the winners from the losers in Forex or the people that quit compared to the people that stay trading is mindset. That self-confidence that you, you know that you have developed a good habit in your trading and, and you're doing the most, everything right. And even then, once in a while you lose, that's a self-confident mindset and that's gonna keep you going. And the only way to get that is by practice. By practicing your trading, practicing your winning, and practicing your losing. And that's the only way you can get that. And just feeling comfortable and confident enough to do that. So I think, a lot of times men are, are a lot more confident. Um, I want to say maybe a little cocky. <laughs> and so it works for them in trading. Women, a lot of times are not. But through training with good habits and through um, learning everything that you can learn, you will have that confidence. I believe it. There are some amazing women traders in IAM Academy. Amazing. And I love to watch them trade. So gals, you can do this. The guys are gonna get it first, but sometimes the, the more confident you are, the harder you fall. You can't be overconfident, but you have to know what you're doing and feel confident about what you're doing. So you don't wanna be negative. If things are going on at home, Take this from me and experience. If things are going on in your life and things are crazy, don't trade. Walk away. Wait till you're in the right mindset to trade. You never want to trade when you're angry. You never want to trade when you're overly excited. You never want to trade when you're depressed. Those are not good situations and you're not in the right mindset. And through practice, you will understand why you don't trade in those situations. And this is what doing a demo account and practicing is all about. It's not practicing to learn the strategy because um, you can learn a strategy. A lot of strategies have just simple rules. BYOB has three simple rules. And if you know those rules, you can trade the strategy. So the practicing is not about trading the strategy. The practicing is about getting your mind on straight and being ready to trade in the right mindset. And learning when you're not in the right mindset. When I sit down to trade, I know if I'm in the right mindset or not. And a lot of times, nothing's happened. I just know by practicing, yeah, I think I'm going to leave it for an hour or two, go do something else, and come back, and then I'm fine. So you'll know. You'll learn. Okay? Doubt your ability. What are you doing? You know, you're learning. Everybody's going to have doubt at first, but the more you trade, the more confident you're going to get, and you should have no doubt in your ability when you start using real money and you're not using a demo account anymore. You should have no doubt in your ability to make a good trade. So it's not, you don't want to go into it with that mindset. Oh, I don't know if I can do it. Oh, I just don't know if I can do this. No, that's a wrong mindset. Get out of there. Go do something else. Come to the trading table, I like to say, with that confident belief that you are a good trader, you use good risk management, and you're going to make a successful trade. Everything is about making that successful trade in your mind. Okay? Practice. Um, the best traders are comfortable with the risk. So we all know when we're trading with real money, there's a risk. You can lose it. We all know that. There is a risk. When you, tr when you trade Forex, there's a risk. You can lose it. And as seen by my first demo accounts, 
So my first demo account, I blew it, all of it. I had to get another new demo account. And then I was like, okay, so what did I do that wasn't right? How did I, how did I lose this? It was my mindset. I had to get my mind wrapped around that, you know, this was real. And I thought, you know, I treated my demo account like it was real money. How would I feel if I lost that? So that's how you go through the ups and the downs to learn how to get to the level. Okay. All right. Um, adjust, good traders adjust to changing conditions. So through demoing and practice, you will learn to adjust to changing market conditions. So you'll learn, you'll see what happens when there's news. You'll see what happens when the bankers throw a lot of money in the market and they do this and that the market shoots way up or way down for no reason at all that you can see because there's no news, there's nothing else. That just means the bankers have thrown a lot of money into the market and they've stopped everybody out and it happens. So by using good risk management, setting your stop loss and practice, you see when these conditions happen and what, you know, being able to adjust to that, okay? Um, discipline in your trading. Again, use proper risk management. Don't trade five, 10%. That's, that's silliness. That's crazy. You know, one little thing goes wrong and you're out, you know, you have to add money to your account. That's silly. Stay one, two, 3%. I sometimes even just trade 1%. If it looks like a really long trade and I think I might get distracted or something, 1%. You can still make your daily amount that you need to make. So use that um, steady temperament. I'm Irish. Let me tell you, I got an Irish temper. But when I trade, I'm steady. I don't get overly excited when I win. It's another day. It's just like when you work 12 hours or six hours or four hours. Whatever amount that is that equals to that, that's just what I think. Okay, my day's done. Yay. When I lose, I don't get mad. I don't kick furniture over. I don't throw things. I don't pout. I don't whine. I don't growl. I might mumble. But that's it. You got to get, you got to find that even temperament that allows you to move on to the next trade. Because if you hold it, if you're excited and you hold it, chances are you don't have the right mindset and you probably will lose the next trade. If you're mad or upset and you hold it and you think about that before you make the next trade, chances are you're gonna lose the next trade, okay? So get to that steady thing where it's, it's no big deal, it's numbers, it's numbers. And, and it's, you know, you want to get 70 to 80% of those numbers in your favor. And then you can talk about not practicing anymore and actually trading. So I hope this helps. I hope you understand how important it is to practice. A lot of people do not practice long enough and it's sad when it happens. Um, Sometimes I even go back to, I, like I said, I go back and do demo. If I've had a rough couple of days and I think something's not right, chances are it's in my head. It's not in the, in the market. So I go back and I practice and I use the demo account and I see what's going on. So come to Trade, Grow, Live at Facebook, facebook.com slash trade, grow, live. Get signed on to my page, connect with me, message me. I like to hear from people. I want to visit with you. If you're interested in doing some kind of Forex trading, get with me. Um, we do a lot of one-to-one -one training, a lot of um, helping people get started. Plus we have now 35 hours of live trading a week in our group. 
So you can get on with several different people um, of our educators and understand what they're seeing in the charts and, and how they're gonna take a trade and what criteria they're looking for. And everybody has a little bit different, let me tell you. But I always pick up nuggets every time I go to somebody's live session. And so it's really powerful. It's really great to see the mindset of these people that have been doing it a while. And you will learn something from everybody. So get a hold of me, get on Trade Grow Live, sign on to my page and say, hey, I saw your video and I, I'm interested in doing this and I'll get with you. Um, get you started because it is a great, great way to live. That's all I have for tonight. Tomorrow we are going to do, we will be on number four and we're going to talk more about the news. Understanding the news um, and we're going to, we're going to talk about setting stop losses and margins. So we may not get 10 in all the way. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to do news, understanding what affects it and um, stop loss and margins. So till tomorrow. Thanks guys. I really enjoy being here with you. Come to Trade Lurk, Grow Live, facebook.com.